All right, welcome back to our craft activity today. Uh, Lions and Cubs, let's sing our April shower song and then we'll get started with our project. Then we'll do our All About Me for one of my afternoon lion learners. And that will be it for today. So April showers, are we ready? One, two, three. Pitter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here's my umbrella, hold it high. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, little flowers start to bud, then grow, grow, grow. Excellent singing. All right, uh, maybe we'll sing it again next week or we'll have a new song for our Zoom meeting. Oh, and don't forget, next week's Zoom meeting, crazy hat day. So make a funny hat, find the craziest one in your house, or I don't know, surprise me. I hope to see you all with some kind of crazy hat. Okay, let's get started. So I broke out my uh, trusty little chunky paint sticks, crayons, markers, um, pencil crayons, paint if you want to. Any of those would be great options. I am going to take a white piece of paper and fold it in half to make kind of a card, make a card shape. Okay, then we're going to open it up. Now, I'm going to set that aside and Get a piece of construction paper. Mine's like kind of a dark pink color. It might look a little red in this lighting. Um, you need a rectangle. So I went with maybe a quarter to a third of a piece sheet of construction paper. Okay, so this way, cut it that way. What I'd like for you to do with this, and lions have done this, cubs may need a little bit of help with this folding part but what we're going to do is make a fan out of it so fold it forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards forwards until you have a nice little fan. Now I have a little bit left over so what I'm going to do is just snip that little bit of extra length off. Done and lions you'll remember the rule right if you folded it right it goes boing and it will pop open and you'll have a little accordion uh, folded piece of paper. Okay, now what we're going to do is fold it, and I feel like I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. <laughs> I'm going to get my trusty glue stick and glue it onto the paper, and I will show you in just a second. All right. Okay, so checking back in, I did have to adjust my folds. They were quite wide before. You need to have slightly smaller folds. So once you have those smaller folds, uh, I just ended up taking the same ones and I just folded them in half to make them quite a bit smaller. Okay, then I'm going to run the glue stick on either side, on the outside uh, edges of paper. And I'm going to glue that inside of our little card here. Now, what I think I should do actually before we start with the glue is just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to put this onto my board here so it's easier to work with. And I'm going to take my trusty blue color and I'm going to make some. One second. Take some blue at the bottom, okay? This can be filled in really well or it can be a little bit sketchy, however, you'd like to fill it in. Because I'm looking one handed and it's hard to hold this on, I'm just going to drop it down. <laughs> one second. All right, so I'm going to fill this in. 
So we're gonna make maybe some clouds up at the top. And since we're working with raindrops, let's put some raindrops on our paper. Okay. Okay, make some clouds up at the top, some puddles on the bottom on the ground. Okay. Now what I need to do is put that glue on the ends of our paper and then we're going to glue that into our little card here. Now I would say about halfway down so you're going to glue that in. Okay, so glue that first side down. I'm gonna have to take this off the board because I need it to be a little more 3D and it doesn't work when it's flat. So, put that back over there. I've got that glued in. Now I'm gonna put glue on the other side. This one might get a little bit tricky. Do your best. And then you need to flatten that fan right down. Hold that glue side down and close your card on it. Okay, so we're going to take that, we're going to fold our card up and close it up. Well, you might want to hold that down for a little bit just to make sure that it is glued on really well, nice and firm. Okay, now. I think maybe I might recommend taking your paper and making sure that your paper is a little bit longer because my little fan is not super long and it's hard to open it any further so it makes it a little bit hard to work on the rest of my project. So maybe when you're looking at a piece of paper instead, see so I cut it this way and just use this section, turn your paper this way and maybe do like half a sheet and so you have that length and the more length that you have, we'll make it a little bit thicker in the middle, like here. But when you open it up, it'll have a little bit more to open up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and this is going to just be able to kind of stand. I can't really show you, it'll stand for me. Now I am going to take a Sharpie marker and draw a little, umbrella handle right down the crease because that's kind of where the middle of my umbrella is it's a little tricky because mine's kind of closed up so because I use that short um, side of the construction paper so if as long as you're not following along totally with me here all right now I have my little umbrella handle here and you see I'm really good at leveling things my umbrella is crooked all right, now I, boys and girls, you'll do something a little bit different. Boys, you're going to want to cut out a little t-shirt and maybe some pants or a little rain jacket or something. I cut out a sort of like a triangle with the top snipped off. You could leave the top because you're going to put the face over top of that. Um, and I use green. It's kind of one of my favorite colors right now just because it's spring and everything's green. So I cut out like a triangle shape for a dress. Okay. And I also cut out some little rain boots. Okay, so draw some little rain boots, cut those out. You're going to want to glue them in over the puddle. Some your little person is standing in the puddle. Like I said, boys, you'll want to dress your little person differently. Everybody's little face is going to look different too. So let's start from the ground up. There's my boots. <laughs> Is, oh, my dress is too long, so I'm going to have to snip it shorter. I had to cut my dress a little bit shorter because I maybe didn't put my umbrella where it could have been. Okay, so there's my dress. I'm going to be very short. <laughs> All right, I cut out a circle. Snip, snip, snip. Uh, kind of tan and then I added some little facial features so I have some googly eyes and a little nose and some freckles and some eyelashes if you can see that all right and I am going <laughs> to glue this under 
the umbrella. So umbrella maybe needs to go a little higher. <laughs> All right. We are learning as we go. So much fun. <laughs> All right. Here's my little short person under the umbrella. I am going to add in some arms and maybe I'll use some brown to make some hair. If I can make it work, it's going to kind of have to go over the top of my umbrella just a little bit. So a little bit tricky. Maybe it's easier to draw the person and then do the umbrella. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. I look a little like Princess Leia with some of my hair <laughs> buns. Okay. Draw the person first. Make your little person first and then draw the umbrella and put the umbrella in. And uh, <laughs> then you can draw yourself some little hands. Holding on to the umbrella, hopefully, so it doesn't look like it's just kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and maybe I'll draw... <laughs> Some little flowers. Maybe I was picking flowers out in the rain. Okay, so I'm going to take some green and some pink and make some little flowers. All right. <laughs> Okay, so if you can see my little flowers, I've got a little person standing underneath my umbrella. <sighs> Definitely got a little short. So, my advice to you, make the outline or the background on your paper, put the little person, and then put the umbrella in. I was going with the instructions and it said to put the umbrella in first, and so that's what I tried. But, experience definitely is a good teacher. So, make your little person first. Cut out some shapes, rectangles, t um, and squares maybe for your t-shirts, and some little rubber boot shapes, and a circle for your face. And then be sure to use the lengthwise <laughs> piece of construction paper. Okay, <laughs> I hope your little 3D umbrella craft turns out <laughs> as bad, well, or better than mine did. All right, Cubs and Lions. Thank you for tuning in for our little craft activity. I hope you had fun folding back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and making your very own little crafty person. All right, fantastic. Uh, oh, oh, all about me. My goodness, it's been one of those days. Okay, this is about June, who is one of my afternoon lion learners. So my name is June. J-U-N-E, June. I like to eat watermelon. Yum. I like to play with horses. I am four years old. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So nice to hear more about June. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy making a 3D water... 3D umbrella craft and creating a nice little crafty person, construction paper person with some uh, rain and clouds. So like I said, it'll be a little bit more open if you use the lengthwise construction paper. The instructions that I had for this were not very clear. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes, I guess, and you'll be able to create a fabulous little 3D project. I love it. And I can't wait to see yours. See you soon.